What is ultrasound? Where did it come from? How was it discovered? Well, we're here to find out. I'm Marian Talao and I'm here to present the history of ultrasound. It all started in the year 1794. Echolocation in bats. Lazarus Palanciani, an Italian physicist, is the first to study echolocation in bats, forming the basis of ultrasound physics. Next, in the year 1877, piezoelectricity. French physicist brothers Pierre and Jacques Curie discover piezoelectricity. Ultrasound probes emit and receive sound waves by the way of the piezoelectric effect. In the year 1896, the underwater bell. Ultrasound testing was invented in 1826 by Swiss physicist Jean-Daniel Colliadon. Colliadon used an underwater bell to determine the speed of sound in water. Working with Charles Francais term, a mathematician, the bell was struck with gunpowder from 10 miles away and the arrival of the sound was recorded through a trumpet-like device in the water. Together, through this experiment, they determined that the speed of sound in water to be 1,435 meters per second, which is very close to today's measurements. To your left is the underwater bell, struck by gunpowder at 10 miles away, while to your right is a trumpet-like device used to record the sound. Next, in the year 1915, hydrophone, the first transducer. French physicist Paul Langevin, inspired by the sinking of the Titanic, invents a device to detect objects at the bottom of the sea. He invented a hydrophone, sometimes referred to as the first transducer. This is what it looks like. 1920 to 1940. Sonography Soccer Sonography was being used to abyss arthritic pain and eczema and to sterilize vaccines by European soccer teams as a form of physical therapy. 1942 Sonography for Medicine Austrian neurologist Karl Dusik is said to be the first to use sonography for medicine. He attempts to use it to diagnose brain tumors by transmitting an ultrasound beam through the human skull. 1948, A-Mode Ultrasound American internist George D. Ludwig, MD, develops A-Mode ultrasound equipment to detect gallstones. This is an example of an A-mode ultrasound. 1949 to 1951. B-mode technology for breast tumors. John Reed and John Wilde invented a handheld device to detect breast tumors. This is them performing their procedure. B-mode ultrasound. Joseph Holmes and Douglas Howry from the University of Colorado were pioneers in creating B-mode ultrasound equipment. They created this ultrasound equipment. In the year 1950, M-mode ultrasound. M-mode is a method of display in which tissue interface position is displayed along one axis and time is displayed along a second axis. M-mode is used to display echocardiographic data in which heart wall motion and valve motion are displayed as functions of time. This is an example of an echocardiogram. 1953, the echocardiogram. Swedish cardiologist Inge Edler and German engineer Carl Helmut Hurst performed the first successful echocardiogram, 
by using an echo test control device from a Siemens shipyard. This is the first echocardiogram. We're halfway through the timeline, but there are still some interesting discoveries coming your way. Going back, in the year 1958, OBGYN, Dr. Ian McDonald incorporates ultrasound into obstetrics and gynecology field of medicine. Nineteen sixty six Pulse Doppler Ultrasound Technology Don Baker, John Reed, and Dennis Watkins designed Pulse Doppler Ultrasound Technology, and their developments eventually led to imaging blood flow in various layers of the heart. Nineteen seventy to nineteen seventy nine the 1970s saw many developments such as the continuous wave Doppler, spectral wave Doppler, and the color Doppler ultrasound instruments. 1980 to 1985 and 1986, 3D ultrasound. Japanese MD Kazunori Baba from the University of Tokyo developed 3D ultrasound technology. 3D images captured. Three-dimensional images are captured of a fetus. Baba's early 3D image of a 19 weeks fetus. Early 2000s, development of 4D or ultrasound progression. 4D ultrasound was developed. Ultrasound-guided biopsies were also beginning to develop into everyday practice. Due to the fact that 4D machines create a higher quality image, there is some concern that the energy level used by them may be higher, although this has not been proven. Lastly, in the year 2013, 2D, 3D, 4D ultrasound can be made today. Here is a sample video. For the ultrasound today, here's a sample video. ...from other babies at the same age. And every day, new features appear that will make this baby's face unique from any other face ever in the history of faces. Another feature unique to each person, fingerprints are being engraved at the same time. At nine weeks, our baby learns four of the most important things we do our entire lives. Sleep, wake up, stretch, and suck our thumbs. Well, maybe three things we do our entire lives. In the 10th week, some babies get a kick from using the womb like a trampoline. while others the same age. There you go folks, the history of ultrasound. I hope you enjoyed this mini presentation and I'd like to welcome you to the field of an unending discoveries. Thank you and goodbye.